Now we're going to do perpendicular. So because it's perpendicular, I know that I need to do the opposite reciprocal. So that's reciprocal. So here I know my slope is 4, and I know it's 4 because that's the term that's in front of my x. So with it being 4, the opposite of positive 4 is negative 4, and then this 4 is really 4 over 1. So when I flip it, I know my new slope is negative 1 fourth. So I can go over here and say, well, I know it can't be this one, and I know it can't be this one because they had different slopes. So it's got to be one of these two. Now, there's two ways to do this. The right way to do it is write down y equals mx plus b. Put in your slope that you discovered from doing the perpendicular. Then take this point and plug it in the equation. So we know that the negative 8 is the x. So I'm going to write negative 8, and I'm just going to put it over 1. It's not letting me write a negative. There's a negative. And my y is 2 and I'm trying to get whatever my b term is. So when I do this multiplication, I get a negative 1 times negative 8 is positive 8. Positive 8 divided by 4, that's going to give me 2. I'm just going to write a 2 plus b, and that equals 2. When I subtract 2 from both sides, that's going to give me 0 as my term. So I know it's going to be this choice. Um, let's just, I'll show you the other way that because it's multiple choice that you could also have done it. You could have written the, one of the answer choices out. And then in same thing, instead of doing it this way, you just plug it in here. 2 equals negative 1 fourth times negative 8 plus 4. When I do this math, this again gives me 2 plus 4 on this side, which equals 6. But on this side, I have 2. So 2 does not equal 6, so I know that that's the wrong choice.